six o'clock. My back is killing me. She still has to help me walk into the bathroom. And I'm, what girl medicine am I taking now? Midol. Yeah, so I'm taking Midol, ibuprofen, and a chunk of... <coughs> Molexicam. Molexicam. Mm -hmm. Just to not oh. die every time I move. And my muscles and the rest of my body still cramping like crazy. I have no idea what's going on, but it sucks. It hurts a ton. Molly's scared for some reason. Brody wants attention and Pem Pem's hanging out. Very typical for these guys. So I'm eating a little, uh, not delivery. And she's got her hand wedged behind my back. So I can sit forward a little bit and be a little bit more comfortable. Watching Casey Neistat though. Yeah, 1995 wants their scrunchie back. So this sucks. I don't know even know what's going on with my body. I have no idea. And I've had a migraine all day. I don't know why I'm cramping this bad. I don't know why my legs are so messed up. I don't know why my back's out. I didn't strain it that bad. Just a little bit the other day. It's very unusual. But the pain level is absolutely insane. I have um, MDS, or not MDS, you have MDS. <laughs> I have CMT, which is the precursor to Lou Gehrig's disease. And the border between CMT and Lou Gehrig's disease is muddled to say the, say the least. So I have no idea if I actually have Lou Gehrig's disease or if I have MDS or not. Or not MDS, CMT. She has MDS. I'm going to screw that up every time. I'm on painkillers and my brain's a little foggy. But, there's Brody. Um, my pain level is a lot different than what most people are. So I feel a lot less pain than normal people. I've done it a hundred times. I've done it with my coworkers. They'll pick up something hot that's been sitting in the sun and they'll say, ow, and drop it. And I'll, I can sit and hold on to it and it's hot to me, but it doesn't burn my hand. It doesn't feel like it's burning my hand. Um, I can do with pulling hair out. I can do with poking myself with needles or something like that. <laughs> and it's no problem at all. So, um, the fact that I'm dying <clears throat> and then in tons of pain, I can't imagine if someone like Ashley had this go happen to them. They probably want to be able to function and I can function and still have a good attitude about it but just hobble around and have to be walked to the bathroom <laughs> like an old person and have the you know with the duppies most of the day uh, you gotta put your arm back Are you gonna... oh. it's in the oven mm -hmm. oh, okay go get it oh god uh. I gotta sit forward to not put pressure on my lower back. Isn't he cute? Hi, oh, Pam Pam. So, Brian's back is hurting him pretty bad. Um, it's just me and Pim Pim. So, I'm gonna do quote of the day. All mistakes teach us something, so there are, in reality, no mistakes, by Nikki Giovanni. First rising to prominence in the 1960s as a member of the Black Arts Movement, award-winning poet Nikki Giovanni established herself as a leading prominent of racial and gender equality. Her early works, Black Feeling, Black Talk, and Black Judgment, are among the most important volumes of modern African-American poetry. This quote appears in the 2016 book In the Company of Women, a literary collection of empowering wisdom and advice to which Giovanni contributed. In it, the poet explains that she seldom dwells on self-doubt, since mistakes are a fact of life. Her words are a reminder that when questions arise, so eventually do the answers. It's integral to face adversary head-on because only then can we learn from it.
Come here. Well, my back's still absolutely killing me, so I'm hanging out on the couch. And I have a heating blanket on. And I'm watching Casey Neistat. And I'm trying to get the hair off of the the blanket and stuff. So I'm laying flat on my back. Well, flat-ish. I got my head propped up. Dogs are going potty. Ashley's getting annoyed because she practically has to carry me to the bathroom. And it's a beautiful day. And I'm just trying to get my back to stop spasming. Uh, what what'd you just give me? Melexicam. So I took a a chunk of Melexicam because so I don't like eating. I've taken a lot of narcotics, but man, it's bad. Still bad. We just got up to go pee, and I, I have to like wrap my arms around her neck and walk with her just to get over the bathroom. So I'm not standing, holding my back straight up. So like, you know, if my back muscles were my wrist, I'm not holding them up where it's spasming a lot. Oh, but I'm hurting. But I put on a shirt for you guys. So I wasn't wearing a shirt earlier because we put a bunch of um, stuff on it. I don't know what it's called. Biofreeze on it. But I just clicked the heat, heating pad back on and it's slowly getting better. You know, I'm, I'm taking ibuprofen. Um, she's going to give me some Midol, I think. To help with cramping because it's the only over-the-counter medication that specifically has something in it for cramping when you're laying on the couch there's not a good angle to hold the camera like I look like I'm 600 pounds and you hold it up here and it just looks like a weird angle but I need a shower I need to brush my teeth I need to get up and do stuff when my back just hurts too much the heating pads warming up Got it on medium. This really sucks, but today, tomorrow, it should really start getting a lot better, hopefully. I was planning on going and doing a whole filming, new filming series, but I really shouldn't. I really should just stay on my back, as best of, or stay off my back as best as possible, because it hurts so damn bad. Ha <laughs> ha!